before you just click get started on the homepage of workspace.google.com, I'd recommend going to the pricing page and click start a trial for the starter plan. Otherwise, Google automatically enrolls you in the standard plan, which costs double the price. Enter your business name, select the number of employees, choose the region, and click next. Enter your name and email. You'll be the admin for the new Google Workspace account. Does your business have a domain? If you don't have a domain for your business, we recommend purchasing your domain from spaceship.com. They have some of the lowest prices on the market, free privacy protection, and great customer service. Find out more information about domains, sign up to Google Workspace, and more using the links down below in the description. I'll enter our tutorial domain and click continue. Here you're creating your first email. This could be you, it could be for customer support, or a general business email. I'll create the email hello at tfctutorial.com and choose a password. By clicking continue, you'll also be agreeing to their terms and conditions. Here we'll confirm the business starter plan. You can also compare plans if you're not sure which to choose. Now we need to set up a payment profile. Enter the organization name, your name, and address. Then add a payment method. You can pay with a card or with your bank account. I'll add a card. Enter your card info and click save card. Then click agree and continue. If you'd like to create several users, you can add them here. You'll be charged an additional $8.40 per account. If you want several emails like sales at mybusiness.com, accounting at mybusiness.com, et cetera, you can create aliases for free. No need to create a separate account for each one. The emails for each alias will arrive in the same inbox and you can choose which email to respond from. I'll skip this for now though. Now we need to verify that we own our domain. Click get started. You can check to see if your domain host is on this list. If so, just log into your domain registrar and your domain will automatically be connected. If you don't see your domain registrar listed here, click my domain uses a different host and click continue. You'll need to add this text record in the DNS settings of your domain. I'll show you how to do it with Spaceship. Copy the value of the text record, log in to your domain registrar and go to the DNS settings. Click add record, select TXT, put at as the host, then paste in the value that Google gave in the value field. You can change the time to live TTL to something less than 30 minutes, or just leave it as the default, then click add. Head back to Google, click the checkbox, then click confirm. Now the domain has been verified. Click the button to activate Gmail. Click continue here. Here you see they mention aliases. You get another chance to add other users as well. You don't need to do any of this now though. You can add users or make any other changes you like to your account by going to admin.google.com. I'm just going to click proceed with activation. Again, I'll click my domain uses a different host and click continue. Now we need to add an MX record to our DNS records. Name set to default value usually means to add the at symbol. Priority one points to this is something we'll want to copy and TTL we can leave as default or select the lowest value. Then here in Spaceship, click add record, select MX record, add at in the host field, then paste the points to that we copied into the value field here, change the preference from zero to one. I'll change the time to live to one minute, then click on add. Go back to Google, click the checkbox. We're all set. Gmail is now ready. Now you can go explore Google Workspace. They wanna know your main goal of using Google Workspace. Connect with customers, collaborate with your team, or improve productivity. You can click on one, or I'll just click on I'm not sure. It now wants to know which of these tools you already use. I'll click I'm not sure again. Everything's already set up. They have some additional recommendations though. For example, setting up two-step verification if you want some additional security. But whenever you're ready, you can go to mail.google.com to get into your new Gmail account. It's gonna ask you to enter your password, then click on next. Here you need to click saying that you understand all the terms, services, and policies. Now you're ready to send and receive emails, use Google Meet, create spreadsheets, documents, and more. Again, if you still need a domain, don't forget to check out Spaceship. You can find a link to their website in the description down below. If you need a website for your business, here are the best website builders. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.